Okay, I got my GPS 90% of the way working, it looks like. Uh, at least it shows where I'm located at in the world now. I mean, you, it's it, before it was all messed up. I can turn the copter with my foot here and it should change its position on the compass there. And it's actually right there in my house. But what I, what I, I can't do still for some reason and I don't know why I can save a mission I can upload a, or I can save a mission I can load Hello. a mission but I can't upload a mission or download a mission and I tried everything I tried going over here to the park and setting up a mission and trying to upload it the buttons just don't do anything they're, they're like they're dead I don't know what it is maybe it's because I'm not outside but I don't, I don't think so because it's like I said, the satellites are, it's picking up eight satellites right here in my house. So, I have no idea what's going on. This is the last part of the learning curve, and so far it's the hardest. So, wish me luck. Well, I finally got to the bottom of what was wrong with my uh, upload mission and download mission bot buttons. I just had to go back and these buttons right here anyway I had to go back and uh, re-download all the, the graphic using interface um, I got the latest version only I went and wiped all the other stuff I had on there off all the older stuff and when I got the newest version and then I got the newest version of uh, Arduino the multi we file 2.3 and I extracted all those files and then I went and set everything up the way I know it needs to be set up to get navigation and I got this navigation it's that's my house you're looking at right there with this right here that's my house that's the multi we sit in my house now what I can do now is I can make a flight pattern and I can actually upload it I'll hear this is called a waypoint that's the first place it's gonna stop do that again that's the second place it's going to stop. Do that again. That's the third place it'll stop. Now we'll hit a return to home. That's the end of the flight. Now what I do is it never used to work. I'd go to this button and it just didn't do anything. Now it activates. Up comes a uh, mission successfully uploaded. It is recommended you re-download it for double checking. So in order to do that, you right click on it clear the mission then go to download down here and it pulled it back up so you're good it only stores the last mission that you uploaded for download if you want to save a mission you go back over here to the save mission file and you can load it from there but anyway it doesn't save missions on board just one but anyway I got it working now uh, that's all I gotta do is get my battery, my remote control radio and receiver, and what was the other thing I needed? Propellers? Yeah, and propellers, yep. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not gonna fly without those. But anyway, it's, uh, I, it was a struggle, and when I finally reloaded all the software, it turned out that's what was wrong. Okay, this is how you set up your Arduino file to uh, actually make your uh, quadcopter fly. This is the stuff you got to do. First, after you extract all your files, they'll end up along up here. But the only one that you really want to work with is going to be found over here in a pull-down folder. It's called Config H. That's all your configurable flight files. Your all your configurable par parameters. First thing you want to do is you pull down says the type the type of quiet multi -cuffer. now when you're using this software it's got you'll see two lines here anytime there's two lines it's disabled um, it comes uh, define try mine came define try so what I did is I put two lines in front of it and that disabled define try went down to define quad define quad X which was already there I removed the two lines and that made that define the type of quadcopter I'm, I'm running. It's quad X. Min throttle 1150. I'm probably going to end up resetting that down to 1000. Max throttle 1850. I'll probably set that up to 2000. 
I haven't done it yet because it's working fine the way it is with, you know, just getting all the GPS and everything working. A lot of this stuff you don't have to touch, but this is one thing you have to do. And for this particular board, well, you have to go online and find out what it is from uh, Hobby King. If you buy it from them, it's got this particular definition. It's, it's actually it's the second one in the list in the Arduino file. And by the way, you get these Arduino files from the uh, MultiWi site, which is it's all open source. It's all free. Um, so you you define that, and then you move on, move on. All these independent sensors, you're not using them with this particular board. If you were using another board like a Creus or something, you'd be setting all this crap up too. But fortunately, the uh, board we're working with doesn't require all that setup. It's already a lot of it's already just done in the code. So I'm moving on down until I get to GPS. That's where a lot of people stumble. Uh, PC or RC. I don't have my radio yet, so I can't even do that. Well, you get down to a place where it says, it says, options. Optional features. There it is right there. When you get there, you got to slow down. Because you're going to be getting to your GPS. Most of the stuff, like I said, it's already defined. If it needs to be defined. Fail safe, don't mess with that yet. Unless you end up needing to later on. LED flash or landing lights, I don't have either of those. GPS. Now that's, if you got a GPS module and then one comes with this, there's some stuff you got to do in order to make it work. It won't work unless you do it. First of all, you got to have your serial port 2 defined. You get rid of the two lines that are in front of that. Leave that one undefined. Uh, it says right here avoid using 115,200 baud. Now there's a lot of stuff online that says just go ahead and set it up like that. I found out I had better luck not setting it up like that following these directions. You define your baud rate at 57.6 and you gotta go do that in your graphic user interface too when you use it. Okay, let me see GPS protocol. All right, here's the tricky part. Now, when you're first setting up, when you before you've ever made your GPS run, you're gonna get it with this. Actually, mine came with this one defined. Those two lines right there, they were gone. This one had two lines in front of it, and that one was being used. Well, you don't want to use that one. Believe me, for this setup. Anyway, and you don't want to use this one right away. The first thing you do is you go down here and you hit define init NTK GPS. This is how you initialize it. It says right there, initialize MTK, G MTK GPS for selected speed, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't know. That's how you set it up. You got to set it up. So after you do that, you define it as that, you leave this one with the two lines in front of it, then you go compile. What you do in order to compile is you go up here, you hit that X and it'll compile, it'll send a little green line across the bottom of the screen. And it compiles. Then you go and you upload. Okay, so you wait for all the flashing lights to get done on your device while it's uploading. And then after it's uploaded, you go back to the same thing again, and you define this one out like I have it right now. You get rid of it. You go. You take put the two lines back in front of it, and then you undefine this one, or you actually you define it, and then you go compile again, and then after it's compiled, you upload again, and by then your GPS will be working. One more thing I figured out that if you can't get your just can't <coughs> if you just can't get your GPS to work at all, it just it seems like it's dead. Make sure your power and your ground are are in the correct place, if nothing else, and then try reversing your green and your yellow wire. Because I noticed that on mine, transmit and receive are crossed. 
uh, there's something wrong if you don't hook them up backwards it doesn't work so anyway uh, if you go by the pinout that they show you on, on online and then you go by the identification that right there the little white letters technically the yellow one should be where the green one is and the green one should be where the yellow one is but it doesn't work like that it just it, it's dead to the world out of desperation I flipped them went back through the setup procedure and lo and behold it actually did <laughs> it worked it was like okay lucky guess there so live and learn